Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero playing Super Bonk. We are going into the next act, Act 4. I just got a huge candy, which made me huge. Super Big Bonk in Space! What is this? Earth, Moon, find the comet. What is going on? So I, at least, okay, there's the asteroid belt. I am really big, apparently. I'm reclaiming some of the uh, heart containers that I lost, apparently. Right now I'm attempting to orbit the sun. Oh, that doesn't quite work that way. Well, let's go down here and see what we've got. There's Venus. There's the Earth and the Moon. I'm glad that they're labeled so easily so that I can figure out what's what. Mercury is going pretty fast. The Sun. So I'm guessing. Wait, what is. What is. What, why is this question mark here? Well, that seem, the question mark seems important. There's another one. What am I supposed to do with these question marks? I guess nothing. I'm supposed to find the comet, apparently, so let's just keep floating around. I just caught up with the Earth and the Moon. I go behind the Moon, in front of the Earth. There's Mars. I am really good at holding my breath. Well, Mars just keeps coming and coming and coming. Alright, well... We'll go out beyond the asteroids, see what we've got. Oh, look at that. They even put on Jupiter the little tiny uh, ring that it's got. All the tons of moons. This is a great astronomy lesson. Learn all about the solar system. Ooh, Saturn. Go behind Saturn. In front of some of the moons. Do I go in front of all the moons? I'm not really sure. Nope, there's a moon that I go behind. So they've done a good job of making this really feel like there's some depth to this. Of course, the planets keep appearing over and over again. That's kind of not too realistic. Oh, look, I got another one. Oh, we've got Uranus turned on its side. It's beautiful. They even have it lit properly. I'm a big fan of that. Did they do that with the other ones? Yeah, they have them lit properly. That's amazing. Um, I mean, it, there are other problems, but at least they're lit properly. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm going in all the orbits here, trying to find if I'm missing anything. Since there's apparently a comet. Hello, Neptune. You're moving rather slow today. I will just zip through and pass you over and over again. Go, Neptune. Excellent. Oh, I'm sorry to tell, give you the news, guys, but uh, Pluto kind of is not a planet anymore. But it's still cool. I mean, you know, you put it in here and everything. I'm sure Pluto would be really happy. Whoa! Comet's entrance. I guess I could have found that faster. That doesn't look anything like a comet. It looks like the Death Star, kind of. Question mark planet. Well, I found the comet's entrance. Oh, I bash the comet's entrance. Let's enter the comet! This comet is definitely not natural. Oh look, they put little things so I could tell that I was supposed to hit those. It's very nice of them. Of course, they put this here as a decoy to make me think that it's something good that I can just deal with. Um, I guess I don't want to fall down here. I just did though! Alright! Conveyor belts everywhere. Me falling. It's awesome. Ooh, extra life bonk for me. <laughs> it's a little slippery in here, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, okay. But I got crazy bonk! I turned into a crazy man! Oh, let's get these while I'm here. I just noticed those are there, so I can't fall down there again. Lots of bridge building. 
You know, I've heard that love can build a bridge. But I bet Bonk couldn't travel on it. Happy day for me! I get to have my hearts refilled. What's here? Okay, I will be very careful here. And try to only go the right direction. I'm still running around like crazy. So this is I have to go back down. But here I can go back up. Oh, and I can build a, uh, more of a bridge. That's just what I need, is more bridge parts. Oh, man, that was not right. Okay. So he's using his teeth to hold on. That's good of him. I've noticed that Bonk is very tooth-centric in this form. I, I don't remember how to go down. I guess I just wasn't timing it right. Alright. So now that we've built ourselves a bridge or two, we won't fall down again. At least not right there. Yeah, we've built ourselves a bridge here so we can go up here, which we couldn't do before. Oh, he's very tooth-centric in all of his forms. At least in more than one. Oh, I did it again. Foiled again. Failed again on that one. Alright. I want to grab onto that with my teeth. Or my teeth, if you prefer to say teeth. Oh, Puddle Man, what are you doing? What's in here? Ooh, meat! Give me meat! Puddle Man cannot win. And I will shoot myself up here and push those in, which means maybe I can get an amazing treasure later if I can figure out how to find that. I don't know. Oh, there's bridges everywhere! Oh, he's busted out! No, don't go down here again! Oh, I guess it's not that bad. Because there's a bridge! We built a bridge! Ah, stop throwing snowballs at me, crazy miner. Alright. Well, I guess I'm supposed to go up because. Well, actually, I'm gonna go over here and see if maybe I can get to that blue heart. Nope, probably not because there's lots of stuff that I could fail at if I come this way. I'm trying to go across. Oh, I didn't make it. What I really need to do. Let's get rid of this guy. What? I thought I hit him! Go away! So I can do that, and then I can come up here, and I can do this, get all these little guys, build some more bridges. At least they put a little thing around them so I can see that they're there. So I build that bridge, so we'll try to build some more here, do what we can because we must, or do what we must because we can. Whichever you prefer, doesn't bother me either way. So I came up here and built that. So how do I get into there? That's the real question here, isn't it? So I gotta be careful when I go across that because I left a hole. Hey, go! Come on! I guess it's not going to do anything. Oh, yes, of course it will. Now, stop throwing things at me. Go! Oh, wait, I bash you with my head and you don't die on one hit. That's not fair. Everything should die in one hit. Especially when that one hit comes at my hand. Ooh, I just barely made that. And I run right into the puddle of goo. No, I don't want to do that! Oh, I missed my other thing. I don't know how to get that. Maybe it was just a teaser. Anti-gravity room. That sounds scary. Okay, I jumped off the wall and almost... Or I jumped off the floor and went almost right into the spikes because jumping off was enough to uh, do something. Okay, let's not hit the spikes because uh, I haven't been doing very well at conserving my hearts. 
it's like I get impatient and I fail. I said I was going to conserve my hearts, not waste them constantly. What I really need is something to refill hearts. Like this right here would be excellent. It's almost like the game was listening to me and gave me just what I asked for. This must be some new Super Nintendo technology where they've built in listening devices, known as microphones. So this room is really some kind of another bonus room, it looks like. Except it's got a few slow moving enemies in here. It's like the anti-gravity bonus chamber of bonuses. Have some bonuses. I don't really need that. Is there anything beyond it? Just spikes. I bounce off the walls like I'm made of rubber. Maybe the walls are made of rubber, I should say. I've never gotten any of those that they leave. Or does he steal them? Oh, he steals them! Every time that guy comes, he steals stuff from me. So I, I'm coming in here and collecting all this, and at the same time, he's stealing it. So, I don't know what I thought I was doing, but I'm not winning by hanging out in here and having that guy steal my stuff. I need to really be careful, because I'm almost out of happy faces. Oh, man. I tried to go real fast so the guy didn't steal any more of my happy faces, but instead I lost some hearts. Sorry, I have to do that to you. It's not my fault. It's sort of a killer be killed situation. And I don't want to be killed. I guess that's where I'm supposed to go.